What's up guys? Today, I'm gonna be teaching you how to ride dirt bikes. First things first, you gotta stretch. You gotta be able to keep yourself nimble to do stuff like this. <laughs> If you guys enjoy what you saw and keep watching maybe you can do that too eventually uh next up is safety obviously you need to wear a helmet i'm wearing gear uh boots are recommended as well you need to keep your feet protected and your noggin next up we gotta talk about the bike so this is the front brake this is a clutch this is a back brake and over here we got the shifter uh, you got to make sure that your bolts aren't loose so your bike doesn't fall apart as you're riding it. Uh, this thing does have a lot of power. I have crashed many times on it. I haven't got any bad injuries, but I have might have gotten close. It is a risk, but it is a great hobby, and I have tons of fun on this. This is me almost crashing. As you can see from the photo, it looked like I was going to crash, but somehow I saved it. I did not know the power of this girl. I was just beginning and I dumped the clutch with too much gas and I almost crashed. All right, next step, you got to keep yourself loose. Good body posture. Uh, keeping yourself loose keeps it better if you do crash because if you're all tense, your body isn't going to react well if you crash. It's doesn't work well um next step is you can't let fear corrupt you uh if you let fear get in the way then you're gonna crash you gotta you gotta be in control of the bike you can't let the bike control you you gotta hold on tight or else this bike will fly away all right now we're gonna talk about turning uh your you don't need your wheel all the way turned you just need it a little bit turned and enter however you want this is more of a feeling and what you're comfortable with. You're gonna have your foot out and it's gonna be based on your lean. Uh, your foot is out in order to catch you in case you lean too far. And as you're entering into the turn, you're gonna be on the clutch rolling. And if you're going too fast, then go on the brakes. Um, as you get to the midpoint, start letting go of the clutch and using more gas and then let loose and go. And here's a clip of me doing a berm. Next, we got jumping. You want to keep your legs locked in. Uh, you can sit down, but that's more for later. For right now, we're going to be standing up halfway. As you're coming up to the jump, you're going to be using a bit of speed, depending on the jump, how far you want to go, how high you want to go. As you're in the air, you can control the bike using the gas and the brake. If you use more gas, it's going to tilt the bike up. And if you use the brake, it's going to tilt it down, depending on how you want to land. And here's a clip of that. Now we got to look out for our surroundings while we're riding. Uh, there's going to be other vehicles out there as you're riding, so you got to keep a lookout all around you. Uh, you also have to keep an eye on what's in front of your bike. Make sure that there's no big rocks coming. Uh, they could mess you up and make you crash. With that being said, these things have a lot of power. My bike, it's a 125, it's a two-stroke, and it's a Kawasaki. Uh, this one was made in 03. They've been making these since the 60s. Uh, there's many different brands. Boom, there they are. Now with those brands, it comes a lot of different sizes. Since mine's a 125, I'm in the middle. Uh, there's also 250s, 450s, 650s, and for the little ones, there's 50s, 65s, and etc. Uh, you can race professionally for these if you are good enough. They go for the 250s and the 450s. You can also ride 125s, but those are rare. Uh, here's one of my favorite professionals. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my passion 
Uh, here's some more clips and photos of me riding my buddies, and I'll brop brop you later. I remember you, baby, we